My phone automatically silences all notifications at 10 p.m. Then at 10.45 p.m., or when I stop using my phone, it wishes me a good night, sets an alarm for 6 a.m., and then tracks my sleep. At 6 a.m., my phone gently wakes me up, tells me the weather forecast, and wishes me a good morning. Then I grab my shoes, my shorts, my shirt, my hat, and my Apple Watch, and I go for a run. During that run, my phone forwards messages to my Apple Watch. My Apple Watch tracks my heart rate and my distance, sends that back to my phone, which then sends that to my fitness pal. After all of that, I go home, I write on my iPad, which syncs to my phone, which then sends to my Mac, and then I send it to Christian. He approves it from his Mac, sinks back to mine, and we're done. All that being said, the word of the day is integration, and the watches of the day are Frederic Constant High Lifes. More specifically, we have the heartbeat and the chronometer version. The Heartbeat is an FC310 calibered 41mm cased convex sapphire crystal watch with a see-through case back to boot. And in this case, the watch is fully see-through because if you look at the front, obviously, you can see the heartbeat of the watch, the mainspring. This actually was invented by Frederic Constant themselves, and the High Life series specifically was created in 1999. So, they celebrated their 20th anniversary with a relaunch. This watch series is five years younger than me. The High Life also comes in a chronometer, which means that this watch needs to be accurate to minus four to plus six seconds a day under various temperatures and positions in order for this watch to be COSC certified. Integration is really one of the most desired and fascinating properties of design, and the best example I have for that is when you look at a Rolls Royce, of all the cool things on it, the most fascinating thing to most people, I feel like, is the fact that the umbrella goes into the door stealthily because it's beautifully integrated. And then it's even more fascinating when you find out that along that slot that the umbrella goes into, there are drainage ports built in so the water from the umbrella can drain out the door. And then warm air is piped into those ports to further dry the umbrella. Integration, usually on any product, is always the head turner. It's always cool to see things interact perfectly. And now, of course, obviously, wristwatches have been around for over 100 years. Years. So we've seen basically any version of a strap connected to a watch that you can imagine from pocket watches when people would just fashion leather around them so they would stay on your wrist to the typical leather strap with a flat end that goes against the watch to metal bands that are curved to flush against the watch and look more complete in like one unit. There are however some watches that are built specifically to integrate only certain rubber straps, leather straps or metal straps to hide and avoid the visual connection. So Frederic Constant's High Life is one of those watches. From a utilitarian standpoint, having an integrated bracelet changes how a watch sits on the wrist. And it changes that because you may notice that these are missing lugs. So what that means is a much larger dialed watch can fit on a much smaller wrist because you don't have to worry about the lugs overhanging. Looking beyond that, however, my favorite part of integrated straps and bands is how much it changes the design language of the watch and makes the whole piece look a lot more integrated and built seamlessly. And also, of course, the bands and straps come with a quick release mechanism. It just feels like the watch design didn't stop with the case. It considered how to pull the rubber or leather strap into the design of the watch and make it flow into it. A lot more than a typical watch case and flat strap design, which kind of shows the corner gaps between the two materials. Which I'm not trying to hard sell you that that's an ugly thing or anything like that. And it does offer a lot more customization. But what I do feel like it lacks is a very clear visual representation that what you are wearing is meant to complement itself recursively. Every software engineer that watches this video just perked up. Recursion? So yeah, I personally love that. I feel like it's a detail you see on these higher end watches for a reason. It's really nice to see two materials perfectly integrated together. And having that center link reach into the strap and kind of pull it into the design of the watch, I feel like draws you in because it's so seamless. Like when someone slides the umbrella out of the Rolls Royce and you're like, whoa, I did not know that was there. To me, it shows that the wearer and the designer of the watch appreciate complete design, that everything should flow together perfectly and fit into one perfect unit. So anyways, that being said, I really like when all of my technology is integrated together. I like when it's cold or rainy outside because I can dress functionally from the top down and everything complements everything. And also, most importantly, I love umbrellas. And I'm pretty sure I would like Rolls Royces too. Encompassing all of that, I really like when objects visually and functionally work together. And I feel like that's how most people try to live their lives. That's why my running shoes are near the door and my running shorts are near my bed. Humans, I, that makes me sound like an alien, we're built off integration and I feel like that's why we remember things best through song and rhymes and we actively seek out things that are perfectly integrated or very well designed like that. 
and that's why Frederic Constant and their Highlife collection sticks out to me. I need to go for a run. <laughs>